We have some special entertainment for you this evening. One of our graduates, who will be um, performing for us a little bit later, uh, known as the Grady Nightingale. Her son is here this evening. Uh, Mark Merchant is a professional comedian, singer, entertainer, well-revered. Uh, you, if you Google him, it's on YouTube, and we are well. We are just blessed to have him here tonight. <laughs> Yes, good evening. Good evening, good evening. Make sure everyone can see up. Good evening. I, I am the uh, son of a uh, great graduate, uh, Peggy Jean Tudor Merchant, and uh, this is my partner. Tell him your name. Hello, I'm Bruce Jenner. <laughs> School? No, no, I, I was a reject. I see. Yeah. <laughs> I had a pass key in a front door key. I see. <laughs> you introduce yourself to the group, mm -hmm. and you tell the group about yourself. Okay. Get off your phone. <laughs> Introduce yourself to the group. Yes. You tell the group about yourself. Okay. <coughs> uh, ladies and uh, gentlemen, my name is Zelda Rose, and I am an alcoholic. <laughs> that, that's a different group. <laughs> of the finest nursing school on this planet, Grady. Yes, yes, Grady. The, when, when nurses used to have to train at a real hospital. Right. It's when nurses were nurses. I know, I know. So I don't want any jokes about alcoholism. Why? They laugh. I, I know. <laughs> but it's not funny. They're aware of health issues. Yes. And it, it's, 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 it's an addictive behavior. Yeah. And it's rampant in our society. I know. I was watching television today in Atlanta. I saw a commercial for an alcohol treatment place. The guy looked at you and he said, with that broadcaster voice, he said, Do you have a drinking problem? Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, then call 658-4000. I called you. Yeah, it was a liquor store. <laughs> Addictive behavior. Yeah. The last time you worked on a cruise ship, you gambled every day. Oh! Every day. Every day. Any day I can get my girdle on, <laughs> the rest of the day is a gamble. <laughs> I'm old enough. I'm 61. I remember. I remember. I remember my mother. But she doesn't need one. She doesn't. But they used to wear girdles. Yeah, I still wear the Kleenex 18-hour control candy girdle. <laughs> you too? No. <laughs> Cruise ship. Yes, I have been wearing the girdle all day, 17 hours and 30 minutes. Right. I was dancing. Right. And that was a night that took the clocks ahead one hour. <laughs> there was girdle shrapnel everywhere. You never hear those words used together, girdle shrapnel. Yeah. So you talked about your drinking. Yes. Then the uh, the, the gambling. Uh -huh. I mean, do you, and I think this is terrible. Terrible state of our society. Yes. The pornography that is rampant in our society. Yeah. And the, this is the truth. The largest consumers of pornographic material are men, men, yeah. over the age of 65. So? <laughs> Doesn't that sicken you? No. A man looking at pornography is like a woman watching the cooking channel. <laughs> we are both looking at something we're never going to do. <laughs> Seventy six. 
six. That's, that's great. Not not many ladies admit their age. And not many men act theirs. That right. <laughs> I read in a current issue of Time magazine, it had a baby on the picture, and I, I love babies. My wife and I, we have three children. Two are adopted. We, we can't find a home for the other one. But, uh, <laughs> There was a baby. My mother worked in obstetrics in the Grady Hospital most of her entire career. She was in obstetrics. She thought that was the happy part of medicine. Yeah, but there was a picture of a baby on a current issue of Time. Right. And it said, this baby could live to be 142. Really? Due to advances in medicine? Yes. Genetic engineering? Yes. Imagine that living to be 150. It's not all it's cracked up to do. Yeah. <laughs> You would be like 120, and your 95-year-old kid is still living with you. <laughs> and he can't go anywhere because he's always borrowing your blower. Well, I <laughs> Zelda, you do not look 76. Thank you. What is your secret? What? I mean, what do you use to keep your skin so smooth? An iron. <laughs> How do you stay so young looking? Every night I sleep with three men. <laughs> three men? Yeah, arthritis, Jack Daniels, and Ben Gay. <laughs> Mark, you can come and do a show. You said you would keep it clean for the nurses. Yes. Because it's, it's a great profession, nursing. Yeah. I, I remember just a little boy, my mother would have to work the different shifts, and uh, she was there at Grady. Yeah. And she always threatened me as a kid. If I was bad, I was going to go to that floor that had the small windows. Uh -huh. I don't know what that was about. Yes. When my mother was a student at Grady Nursing School, and she did her psychiatric rotation. Right. She didn't get to go to Milledgeville. No. No. She went all the way to Florida to Chattahoochee Central State Hospital in Florida. Right. Right. That's where she met your father. Well, <laughs> Runs in the family. I see. Him. And I love nurses. I, I used to date a nurse. I never dated a Grady nursing student. Yes, I used to date a nursing student who, this is the truth, she was a nursing student at Georgia Baptist. <laughs> but I did find out, in order to be a student at the School of Nursing at Georgia Baptist, yes, you had to have an IQ of 180. That's why they always hung out in groups of three. <laughs> So Zelda, they were they were nice enough to give us a room here at the uh, Perimeter Marriott. Yeah. So if any of you guys would like to hook up, <laughs> change up, or get it on with a seventy-six-year-old nursing school reject, <laughs> I'm available. You're single. Yes, yes, I my 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 boyfriend. Your boyfriend. He dumped me. I'm sorry. Who was your boyfriend? Hugh Hefner. <laughs> Hugh Hefner, the founder and publisher of Playboy. Yeah. He dumped you. Yes. Now, I happen to know that Hugh Hefner, who is 89 years old, yes. is now married to a young lady named Crystal Harris, who is 28. <laughs> that is like giving a squirrel a bag of walnuts after all his teeth have fallen out. <laughs> On this day, 17 years ago, Pfizer Pharmaceuticals, 17 years ago on this day, Pfizer, you're nodding your head, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Pfizer, Pfizer got approval for the medication Viagra. And Viagra is used to treat attention deficit disorder. <laughs> Proverbs 15 says, God 
loves a cheerful heart. Laugh, and the world laughs with you. Lord, can you sleep alone? <laughs> So you're staying at this hotel. Mm -hmm. You were here last night. Oh, last night, 3 a.m. 3 a.m. This gentleman was knocking on my hotel room door. What'd you do? I got out of bed and let it out. <laughs> What did you do? Nothing. You weren't there. I just laid there like a dummy. My mother is the best nurse in the world, Peggy Merchant. She not only had a great career at Grady and went on to work in private practice, but she took care of me, my brother Matthew, and my sister Melissa. And when I fractured T12 and L1, she willingly came and took care of me at a hospital in Hawaii for six weeks and all that kind of thing. So I love you, Mom. Thank you for looking after me and not smothering me when I was a baby. Oh, she's still thinking about it. Yeah. <laughs> so we, we made jokes about, uh, and oh, I, I should mention a doctor who trained at Grady who's gone on to his great reward. I don't know if any of you remember Dr. Wallace McLeod. He was a surgical resident, and then he went on to become a dermatologist. Uh, uh, Dr. McLeod is up there in heaven laughing at us now. Yes, indeed. So we'd like to do a song for you because uh, you've made jokes about your age, but age is just a number. It, it doesn't matter. Right. I mean, I, I am 61, and I, I feel great. Oh, yeah. And when I turned 50, when I turned 50 11 years ago, my friend said, Mark, 50 is a new 35. Mm -hmm. So 60 is a new 45. Dead is the new alive. <laughs> but it doesn't matter how old a person is, it's never too late to fall in love. So, in the classic ventriloquist style, my partner, Zelda Rose, with a little bit of musical talent I inherited from my mother, the comedy I inherited from my father, Zelda Rose is going to sing Never Too Late to Fall in Love, and on the last two notes, my partner, Zelda, is going to continue singing, yes. and I'm going to drink the rest of this lovely glass of wine that my lovely school teacher wife, Cindy Osborne, brought me on stage. Because <laughs> <laughs> otherwise I can tap seductive dress because it came on stage. Move <laughs> a little bit closer so they can see. Wow, well, I'm very far above my paper. <laughs> Thank you for having us. Yes. So, Zell, right. you've made jokes about age and intimacy. Uh -huh. And then this, this young lady, uh, Bernice, what is your last name, ma'am? Dixon, Miss Dixon, when the joke about the uh, the key, I love that. Right. right? It, it doesn't matter. My question to you, Zelda, right. all this talk about romance and intimacy. Us older gals are in demand. Yeah. <laughs> we don't yell, we don't tell, we don't swell, and we are grateful as hell. <laughs> Why, sir? One never drinks 
wine that's new. The old wine tastes much nicer. Never too late to steal a kiss, especially on wedding.